All right, so we're back in with another question from one of my patrons over at Patreon. They say, Servus, Bavarian greeting. Did I get that pronunciation right? I have no idea if I got that pronunciation right. You'll have to tell me. Servus? Zervus. I don't know. I could be butchering that. You let me know. Um, they say, for a long time, I'm fighting for the clearness of bash history. When I work with screen, keeping each session dedicated to a specific area, but I've never deepened into this area, would you mind to make some overview on this topic, maybe by sharing best practices? Um, if you're using screen, I would also appreciate some kind of overview and maybe some deep diving, blah, 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 blah. Thank you for organizing the amazing channel. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate that. That's a super nice thing to say. I will tell you this, unfortunately. I don't fully know the Bash history semantics that well. Um, I know I know a lot of Bash, but history is confusing. And when I say it's confusing, I mean like, here's the Bash manual for history, and you can see that there is a lot here. There are a lot of variables that determine how it works. There's a ton of stuff that goes into it. So I kind of set a couple variables and I just go from there. When I have multiple different windows open until I close it, I don't think any of that history is ever committed. So I run into times where like, I'm like, oh, I know I need a command, but it's in like this random terminal tab that I have open. So the same thing happens when you're in screen, the same thing happens when you're in Tmux. You might have to set up some sort of way to commit to the history file without actually killing the shell or before you're done. I haven't deep dive into the area myself. I might do that in the future. I can't make a promise, but I can at least tell you that personally, I'm not holding any information back from you. I just don't know, okay? But I do know there are cool projects out there. So my buddy turned me on to this project called Atwin, or I believe it might be pronounced a Twin. I could be pronouncing it wrong. I say Atwin. It's a really cool project out there. It's open source and it manages your history. So all your sessions will send your history to like a centralized place. I think you can run your own server and it will tell you things like when you last ran the command, what host it ran on, if it was successful. It, re it records all sorts of metadata from it, which is really cool. And then at the end of the year, you can run Atwin wrapped kind of like Spotify has a wrapped, and it will show you your top commands for the year. And when you run that command, here's the uh, creator of Atwin right here, saying, thanks, DaveEddy.com for the suggestion. So when you run Atwin wrapped, you can think of me, okay? Uh, so yeah, shout out to this project. I think this project's super cool. It's a super cool way of like managing your history. Like I said, I'm lazy. I've never learned how Bash fully manages its history, so I would just recommend something like this, or at least look into something like this if you're interested. I think it's a really cool project.